All right, Ramblin' Man here. I took a uh, quick break at this uh, stop here. I'm about 19 miles away from the exit slash entrance at Front Royal. Front Royal was going to be my target to work me over to 48 had I done this the way I had intended. And uh, now when I look at it, um, I could go straight home using winding back roads or take 48 and the thing is I really wanted to be fresh for 48 and I feel like I'm gonna rush a little bit because I don't want to be out really after dark and with a few stops for eating and what have you I think it's just gonna put me there too late so I think I'm gonna continue to front royal and then size things up there and uh, that'll be it. So I think when I've done some other rides, I think I've come in here at this entrance and gone the other way because the tunnel and everything, you again, you would think I would know this and remember all this, but from trip to trip I've come in different ways and you know, I don't always study all the names of each overlook and stuff. Sometimes I'm stopping off and other times I just ride it. Well that's at 32 miles to Front Royal. When I checked my satellite navigation I thought it said 19. And I must have been wrong. Or it must have been wrong. One or the other. Or they're measuring a different point. So I would think it would be city center. So I had a video recently where I ended up with no sound at all. Kind of halfway through the video. And I realized what happened is that I put the camera, pulled it down to open the face shield. And it was just enough to pull the third-party microphone adapter just slightly, and it made it be no sound. So if you pull it all the way out, the media mod's no longer recognized, and um, you might get the uh, microphones from here. And I can't tell until I get home whether the sound has been messed up or not. And the main issue is when I have this third party, um, sorry, not the third party microphone, I was going to say the uh, external battery pack, the, um, for whatever reason when I'm fiddling, when I have that connected, it seems to mess up the third party microphone. I can't remember if that issue the other day, I think it happened while the third party, I mean, with the external battery pack being connected. But it was user error because I could hear my hand hitting it and it was me fiddling with it. <coughs> what I don't know is once it's disconnected, will it reconnect if you just push it back in? Uh, the GoPro has this terrible bug in it that if you uh, you have the GoPro media mod and if you change it from video to photo and then go back to photo to video like even if you didn't use it like if you did it by mistake it immediately doesn't recognize the media mod and you have to that was pretty neat you have to cut the camera off and back on in order for the media mod to be recognized again and you can't tell it because it's recording
Yeah, I think the previous trip I did to Skyline Drive recently, I think that I uh, entered where we just took a, a, a break and went south and I exited where I entered today. She was being nice to uh, exit. I would have passed right here. She probably didn't pick up on that. The, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I did last time I came. Was Thornton Gap down to, I think that's called Rockfish Gap where I came in. I didn't even really pay attention. Uh, I'm disappointed about 48. I'm going to see how I feel when I get to Front Royal. The Zumo Navigation Unit. Uh, right now, I'm not really getting a phone signal. But the uh, Zumo is like by satellite. And um, it's just like if you want to pick a route, a specific route. Now see, they see me coming. But they're going to go anyway. Maybe they're going to wait. I don't know. Well, he's going to wait. Probably was behind him one time. Yep, they pulled right out behind me. Um, if you want to pick a specific route and guide it, like to Route 48 in this case, I, I can't seem to do it. So I have to load it up with landmarks along a route to force it to go that way. If you guys use the same... Uh, unit the Zumo and you have tips to make that easier let me know I have avoidances highways to keep me off highways when I don't want them and then uh, maximum and maybe it would change if I change the maximum whatever they call it fun factor I'll call it and if you shorten it it'll make it a shorter trip and I just want to tell it to go to Route 48 and use that route. Now, on Google Maps, you would drag it over. And here, I haven't figured out how to do it. No signal. Of course not. Serenity now. I really think for some of these future trips that are longer like this one I'm gonna try to find I don't ride with anyone I don't know anyone personally good enough that I would invite out uh, distantly I know like a couple people but it's a stretch it would be awkward for me to reach out to them uh, there's a Facebook group for the Richmond area for motorcycling and it's like I almost feel like you're like tender of uh, motorcycling because it's like some of the folks I'm like I can just tell, like, if they're on a sport bike and they've posted previous videos of them hot dogging it, they're not going to be happy with me and vice versa. So I'm trying to find folks similar to myself, but then I flip around. I'm like, well, if I find somebody that I don't like and I'm on a ride, I sure don't want to spend the next seven hours riding with them. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but um, it's one of the reasons I have avoided picking people to ride with because I just want there to be a similar safety understanding 
and they probably ride faster and better than me is the way I look at it with most people and I don't want them to be frustrated but I would like some companionship on these rides from a safety perspective and just from hey socializing and enjoying seeing another bike out there front or behind you um, it's one of the reasons I got into this but so far I've uh, I want to improve my skills before uh, branching out and I don't want 50 people in a ride you know I'm just looking for like one to two other people to start I don't usually take long rides back to back but I'm uh, might be short notice to find somebody to ride with tomorrow by the time I get home but I'm thinking about putting it out there and come all the way back out here tomorrow but do 48 This stretch one time is where I saw the deer over here and then further down it was like a turkey or something, some other animal.
that look was for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was nice. He took a little photograph of my uh, bike. Parked the bike over here. Would have been a pretty good picture. I'm going 50 and this car is closing in behind me here. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm all for going fast, but I don't want someone riding my rear end.
I could have handled that one better. I recognize I could handle a lot of them better, but some stand out to me more than others as I sit on the bike. I'm not sure I'll be able to put together a rod with others tomorrow. I think one, my, my body after a rod like this, getting in later in the day, I've been out pretty much all day, all afternoon at least, it kind of spent. One of my goals is to keep getting in better shape so I can ride longer.
stretch through here. So uh, this vehicle pulled in while I was at this rest area. It was a van full of people with New York license plates. And uh, I was waiting for them to kind of scoot out of the back of my photo and uh, made eye contact with a couple of them. And a lady strikes up a conversation with me saying her dad used to ride an Indian back when it was really Indian. Now it's owned by Polaris. But, um, then she said a friend of hers owns a dealership and I said an Indian dealership and I said what state she said Virginia said, oh, which one there's not that many and it turns out it's the one I usually go to the one that I have a uh, love-hate relationship with I didn't tell her that but she apparently is really good friends with one of the owners and, you know uh, I've had mixed I've had good and bad with that dealership And there's not many of them.
especially that are pure Indian. That one's Indian only. But it's a small world. Yeah, so it's nearing 4 o'clock, and I really want to stop and get a bite to eat. So I just don't feel like trying to tackle 48. What's the guy on a skateboard? I must have seen that wrong. But I, I don't think I'll be tackling 48 today. I saw correctly. In the hell? Thought I'd seen it all. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that out here before. So my plan is to hit Front Royal, so hopefully find a place to eat, and start working my way back home, which would probably be about an hour and a half or so. So basically I just went north up half of Swift uh, Skyline Drive, and 48 would take me further west, and then back south, pretty much the same distance and more that I just came north taking it south so I wish I would have caught the uh, mistake I made of not going north when I was coming in and gone straight to 48 and down but oh well this turned out to be a beautiful day out here no complaints good ride and we're closing in on the end of it I think Also, if you've made it this far in the video, I'm curious if you guys prefer to have the little handlebar cam pointed at me for the entire ride, or some of the ride, or none of the ride. I, um, I didn't even put it on today. It takes a lot of extra editing to sync that up and get it right. More than you might think. I mean, it's, um, once I get in a rhythm with the first two clips, if all goes according to plan, it's usually easier from there. But um, I just sometimes wonder if people even care. It's funny, on the female motorcycling channel, they're like, Yeah, we want the camera on the rider. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I feel like I'm not doing those turns correctly especially when it comes to braking in a curve I probably should lean more um, I have feathered the front or rear brake and I'm probably taking a chance doing that there's a car coming up behind me and I can tell probably wanting to go faster than I want to I still get a little, uh, I guess uncomfortable is the word, if a car is behind me, especially on roads like this. 
Oh, now, wonderful. Now I have a motorcycle coming up behind me. That's just what I wanted. Two motorcycles coming up behind me. Sarcasm. <laughs> Thank goodness we're at the end. stopped here and looked around a bit. Maybe we'll pull it over here. Yep, exactly. Exactly what I would have thought. Somewhere in there. Well, that concludes the Skyline Drive route. I'm just going to enjoy the ride home. Thank you for watching Ramblin' Man Moto. See you on the road.